what do I do if I screw up? What if I mess up my budget and I go over and I don't know how to recover from it? That is the scariest part of zero-based budgeting because overages are going to happen. Nobody is perfect. There is no perfect month. So how do you deal with overages? Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are smack in the middle of baby step two, paying off $350,000 worth of debt. So if you are in baby step two and you are looking to be motivated, click that big old subscribe button down below and join in this amazing community. There are some awesome people here. And no, I'm not talking about me. Today, we're gonna talk about screw ups cause they're gonna happen. It's part of life. Nobody is perfect. So what do you do? So step number one, you're going to accept that you are going to screw up and things are going to happen and you are not going to be perfect. And this is probably the hardest step for everyone. Step number two is you're going to have a plan. Now there's multiple ways you can have a plan. You can have sinking funds, knowing that your car is eventually going to break down. So let's go ahead and have a small pile of money set aside for a car that's going to break down or going to need repairs. Or maybe let's go ahead and have a little bit of a cushion in the budget. Y'all know I have a cushion in my budget. Why? Because there are certain things that I know are going to happen every month. I'm going to buy stuff on Amazon and Mauricio is going to go out to lunch with his coworkers and not pay cash for it. They're going to happen. So I go ahead and put them in the budget and just kind of know that they're going to happen. The third thing is consider using your emergency fund. Now, if you have a legit emergency, like the roof starts leaking, go ahead and use your emergency fund. But if you're just over because you bought too many groceries, then maybe you need to consider looking at your budget. I actually did a whole video on knowing when you should use your emergency fund, and I'll link that up here in the eye in the sky. It actually walks you step by step. There's like a whole like process that we go through as to whether we will use our emergency fund or not. And I'll tell you legitimately, we have yet to touch our actual emergency fund because we come up with ways to pay for things without touching our emergency fund every single time by using this, this process. So I highly recommend you check that out. And then the final step is keep track of why you're over and fix your budget so you're not over. Because if you have every month the exact same 50 bucks over coming up, then maybe it's time to adjust your budget. Budgets are supposed to be realistic. Sure, when you're on baby step two, you need to be paying off as much debt as physically possible. But if you are screwing your budget up every single month because you have made it too tight, then you are not going to be successful on this plan. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to give up. So go ahead, loosen up the budget and be realistic. That doesn't mean it's okay to put in a shopping trip to Nordstrom's every weekend. Not okay on this plan. But if you need to loosen up your grocery budget because you have watched so many YouTubers that only spend $200 a month on groceries for a family of five, you know what? Maybe it's time to lighten up the grocery budget. Sure, it absolutely can be done, but oh my goodness, that is so hard. And so I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.